Morning YouTube. <clears throat> Sean the Ghost Cop coming to you here from the side porch on this beautiful fall day here in Pennsylvania. Um, excuse me, it is the morning. So of course with every morning goes a cup of mud. So uh Hope everyone had a good week. But before we get started on today's subject, uh, do a little housekeeping here real quickly. Uh, Cup of mud, Missouri Mearsham Fifth Avenue Bowl, bent stem in it. Lane one Q. Those are the nice labels that my wife Christy bought me. Cause she didn't like my homemade ones. They do look pretty cool though, so I like them, they look nice, got a whole bunch of Lane 1Q, so that's what I'm smoking today. So, it, the cane's coming along well, I should be able to reveal her probably tomorrow. Uh, it, uh. Came out real nice so far, so we'll see how the last step goes on her. Um, a lot of exciting, some exciting things going on here in the house. Um, unfortunately, Christy's Christy is a CNA, a uh, certified nursing assistant, and uh, her supervisor quit last week. Christy did not sign up for the job. She really didn't have much uh, interest in it, I guess. Um, didn't even really know of a sign up because everybody works, they go from their home, they get all their their patients' names and stuff like that through text messages and emails. So, she didn't even really know about the opening. I mean, she knew she left, but didn't know that they were hiring within or whatever, you know. Uh, privately owned. So, he emails everybody and lets everybody know that she quit, that her last day is such and such. And then... Um, she emailed, he emailed Christy privately and asked her if uh, he could interview her by phone on a certain date. Of course, we were in Pittsburgh, but she did it anyway. She actually did two phone interviews while we were in Pittsburgh. And today, she goes for her one-on-one, -on -one, her face-to-face -face interview, which... Is going to be the supervisor of the Gettysburg office, and the owner is going to meet that way. Since they have to work hand in hand, she feel he feels that the other supervisor should also have a some input on uh, what uh, who they're putting in that position. So. So we'll see how that goes. Um, certainly which are the best. I think she's really interested in it. It's um, not as much driving and more money, but better hours. So
We'll see where it goes. Um, autumn is here. You know, autumn's on a really neat season, I think. Um, everybody's been doing some, a lot of people have been doing some videos on autumn and fall and harvest and Halloween, whether they hate it or like it, you know. By the way, Chad, I'm on your side, bro. I'm not really a big Halloweener either. Um, used to be, but I'm not anymore. But you know, fall's a great season because a lot of things, and to me, the changing of the leaves and the brisk nights that you could sit out on a campfire and uh, have s'mores and just sit around and drink moonshine or whatever you want to have as a beverage. You know, smoke a pipe, smoke a cigar, whatever you want to do. Autumn's really nice to me because of that. The leaves, obviously. And for the farmers, you know, this is when they're winding down all their crops and getting all their outside work done, other than the upkeep around the barns and with their livestock, their milking or whatever they're doing with their livestock, whatever their livestock may be. Um, it, it gives them some, some more family time, you know, it gives them a little more quality time and to rest up because, you know, in the hottest time of the year, they're out 14, 16 hours a day working, so it's kind of nice for them too, you know. And also, turn back, you, know, you turn back your clocks. Um, for those of you that are watching, don't forget, this is the old fireman in me, don't forget to change your batteries in your smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. You change them every time you change the clocks, you change your batteries. That way you're assured your batteries are working. Now I know a lot of new places and buildings are, are wiring them in, you know, straight wire, which is fine. If yours is that, then you really don't have to worry about it. But, um, you know. Those uh, are important to do. Remember to do that. Um, fall's just a nice time of year, you know. The, there's festivals, there's apple harvest festival here where we live. Uh, that's coming up pretty soon. It's like two weekends or three weekends in a row that they put that on. Here we have uh, steam engines that come in and everybody brings in their old tractors and their steam engines and they show them off and they have a tractor parade every night for everybody and you can see all the cool old antique tractors and you get to see them run. Uh, we have that going on down here in Pennsylvania. Um, it's also a nice time of year to go to Gettysburg and visit the battlefield. Although I love the battlefield. I go there, we go there pretty much every, every chance we get. But now it's a beautiful time because, I mean, it's it's so beautiful and peaceful. It's kind of crazy how so much chaos and so many young men lost their lives there. But yet, you go there now and it's just so peaceful and it's just so quiet. Um, really nice. Spotting deer. That's a big one now. Now, this time of year, you know, you get to go out at night and put the old spotlight out the car. Now I'm really going hillbilly on you, I guess, for you city folk. But um, that's a good time. Now, my wife's from the city, and she's never spotted deer before. So last time we went home, we, went, we just went home here just last week. 
we uh, took her out spotting deer one night and she loved it so we ended up going out a second night um, first night we saw 17 deer and the second time we went out we saw 57 deer so uh, it's uh, pretty cool saw a big buck up there running around um, big buck I don't know how many points were on him because he was kind of a little far away and still has his felt on so I couldn't really count his points. But I tell you, he had a beautiful spread on him. He was at least an 8 point. To have that big of a spread had to have at least been an 8 point buck. So, and he was strutting his stuff, man. There was a bunch of dough in the field and he was just strutting his stuff. He was showing that he was the dominant one. So he was. Um, saw a fawn. Um, that was kind of cool to see a, a real young, a real little yearling, which is odd for that time of year, but my wife pointed it out, and sure enough, it was one, so. I guess uh, she found herself a buck early, so. Archery season's coming in. That's always a lot of fun if you're a hunter. So it is. I enjoy fishing this time of year too. We have, um, I live along Yellow, Bre Yellow Breaches and um, it's got some of the best fly fishing in Pennsylvania. And I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun because they, they stalk that bad boy all year long and well you just get in there you just hook into them and then you let them go but it, it's a lot of fun and this time of year is nice because of all the scenery and it's just a lot more quiet because not everybody's out because a lot of people don't like the cold you know Plus, when you're fishing this time of year, you don't have to worry about people going down the down the river in kayaks or um, tubes. A lot of those people will put them away for the year because they're not going to get out there on the water, you know, in that. So... You definitely have... Um, a lot more uh, quiet time for yourself so but those are my takes on uh, autumn uh, it's about 13 minutes in right now so I don't want to go a whole lot further um, you know just thought I would throw out my autumn little ramble or uh, just my autumn chat if you will so um, but uh, Thank you all for stopping in. Thank you, subs. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, you know, you all have been uh, so very kind, and uh, it means a lot to me. So, um, until we can uh, get together, YouTube, and pack another pipe, let all that you do be done out of love. Take care, and God bless.